Hi, how are you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day as always in my studio and I've been painting in Rebel 5. I thought today I would do a study of this little piggy and uh, the idea of this is I wanted to try out the um, pigment mixing feature properly in Rebel 5 and specifically uh, there's some subtle colour tones in this little pig. I've got some pinks and some ochres and colours. And I wanted to mix the pinks with the ochres. And which would be, I don't know, almost impossible to do on a colour wheel. Uh, it would be very difficult to identify the right colour. So, uh, that was the plan. I'm mixing uh, with a, a limited palette of um, a few ochres. Uh, some nice warm colours, specifically ultramarine pink. And uh, I think I threw a little bit of burnt umber and ultramarine blue in there just to uh, get some subtle greys. So sort of playing around with a um, pigment mixer and to see if I could uh, produce colours quickly enough to um, keep my workflow going uh, because I'm very fast at picking colours off the colour wheel and I wanted to see if I could use the um, pigment mixer and work at a reasonable speed and it didn't slow me down too much. So let's just get into the video and uh, see how I got on. Opening up my reference uh, image I've discovered straight away that we've got now a new feature in reference it now says reference images not image I open that up and the first time uh, I imported a photo which I'm going to do now I'm just going to um, drag an image onto here you get this little thumbnail with a, a cross on the circle I thought what's going off here and it took because I didn't read the manual of course and it took me a while to work out. If you just click on that um, eye with a cross on it, boom, you get your source photo. So you can now have multiple source photos in um, Rebel 5. That is a new thing. It took me a little while to work out uh, the fact that you've got multiple images in where it says reference images. And um, here it would just say reference image except I've loaded an image in and it says pig source so that's my source photo that is what I'm going to paint today um, first of all I need to just resize my canvas because uh, as we can see it's not exactly the same shape or aspect ratio as the uh, photo or the source image so let's just choose the crop tool slide that in a bit that looks about right hit the enter key boom and uh, we're good to go right, I'll just slide this across a bit kind of want my the piggy picture to be off the canvas like that and I intend to paint this with sort of big broad impressionist strokes um, with oil paints I've got my oil paint selected I must not forget to click on use color pigments I want to use color pigments for this should I use a color set I want to give it a go I do struggle with the color set I must admit I do find it a little bit um, it slows me down somewhat with my experimentation let's open a window and let's open the color mixer um, I guess it's on here somewhere mixing palette here we are I resize this because if I resize this to sort of fit in there it could be quite nice you can so I've got my mixing palette sorted um, I'm going to choose this is default oil Default color set. If I choose that, oh no, they won't have names. I believe that all of these will still mix correctly, but I want to use, I'm going to use oil pigments three because I just like the idea that it says ultramarine 
pink ultramarine blue although paint with that oh that's quite nice actually uh, that is nice that's what i expect to be ultramarine blue okay i'm good to go um taking my shirt off i should save this before i start and then i can just click save so i'm just going to save it now and i am good to go now i am not going to do any drawing with this i'm just going to go straight in with the uh, color palette let's go let's start off with some um I'll, I'll probably do it all with a flat brush i'm feeling flat uh i'm not what's that going to look like we're going to get lots of thick brush stroke that's not too bad just might take the loading down a little bit so i can get some lighter there's a bit of lag on that, I must say. Um, I did when I first started, not so much. It's to have settled down a bit. Yeah, I'll just change my brush size a little bit. See if we can sort of reduce the lag, that's better. I've actually gone. I'm not painting A4, I'm painting A3 this time, and uh, definitely a sign of lag, but I'm doing that for a reason. Uh, I tried the A4, I did a, a portrait with uh, A4 um, canvas, and it was a bit pixelated. I couldn't get the detail I wanted, but I have to say, uh, I'm not showing that video yet because I forgot to switch the pigment mixing on. So I'm just going to put a little bit of colour there. Put some, what, well, let's get a cream, put that cream there. Let's mix that together. Once I've done that, I can choose the colour picker and um, lighter put some lighter strokes in don't know why I'm getting into this sort of straw effect already but um, I'm feeling it so I'm gonna do it I could say no drawing with this one it's all about the painting using the color mixer I do like this um, natural color mixing it is way better than um, the uh, without having the, the pigment switched on, and I know that for a fact because yesterday I did a portrait and forgot to switch that pigment button on, and um, the color mixing in the end I gave up on it because I, I found I could get better colors quicker. Just using the color picker, but I can see now why because I forgot to switch the pigment thing on. One thing you must remember, I think, um, with, with um, switching on the pigments, you no longer have access to your blend modes, so that could well affect your. Um, your subsequent layers. Let's get a kind of a pinky color for the skin. Now look at that, look how easy that was. These lovely rich colors. And then I can just switch the picker then whenever I come over here, even if I've got a paintbrush on this side, Is a bit too pink, isn't it? But I could just sort of pop it out a bit. Found that rock quite easy to mix that skin colour. Well, I need some lighter colours as well in a bit. But 
you can see a bit of purple in there so i'm going to choose some um what's this one is it quinacridone or something is it going to tell me ultramarine ultramarine pink oh it's the one i had earlier let's uh pop a little bit of that in mix that in there as well that's going to give me some nice vibrant colors it's a bit too pink isn't it maybe if i put some like a, a bit of burnt umber in there in the mix let's mix that in so i've got stuff a, a dirtier color not quite so vibrant <laughs> that's better that's what i'm looking for and then i'll choose my blending brush over here to mix these colors together a bit With the blending brush you must put pressure on if you want to add pigment just go back to the uh, add pigment only just for a second so i'm just trying to get the you put this in into the shadows of that uh, the back of the pig is here in and the, the idea and what I'm going for is a sort of a really loose which is no surprise is it loose impressionist piggy picture this this I took this photo when we went to a petting farm with little Killian just before Christmas, which was, um, well, what's happened? I've locked up. Seems to have a lot. I'm just going to save it. Oh, it's catching up. Did you see the lag there? I don't know what was going off with that. I've caught up again. Save it quickly. I don't want to lose what I've done. Just save quite fast, actually. Let's just keep working and get some of this color on. I'm, I must say I'm a bit disappointed with the uh, amount of lag I'm, I'm getting at this stage. Snout in. Let's um, let's add some white into this mix. White there. So I can get a bit of a lighter colour. Snout a bit. Quite pointed, isn't it? Not round at all. And then we've got this flat bit at the bottom. Hmm.
doing, I wonder. Body there. Killian, I saw Killian, that's my grandson if you don't know, uh, lovely little lad, um, lots of health issues though, um, I didn't see him Christmas Day, was all supposed to meet up, I was supposed to meet up with both my daughters, um, and obviously Killian, Christmas dinner, and uh, I'd been really good about um, not mixing with people prior to Christmas, the week before Christmas, I thought I really don't want to risk um, catching COVID the week before Christmas. It just spoil the whole affair. And uh, I, I'm in a couple of ukulele clubs. I the ukulele. Well, I play bass actually for them. And uh, I didn't go to those. I skipped out on all of those. Even though they're doing lateral tests and things, um, I didn't want. I didn't want to risk that like thing going off again. I didn't want to risk. I just just sat back and looked at me me piggy and uh, too good at the minute, is it? I think it needs a bit of work. Brown. Um, yeah, so uh, totally avoided a bit of warming that. Totally avoided everybody and and, and anything but for the um, week coming up to Christmas. And then Charlotte, that's Killy's mummy announced on Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve, that she had um, tested positive for COVID. Dear me. Very disappointing. So I didn't get to see Killian on Christmas Day. Uh, so yesterday we had our Christmas Day, well, day before yesterday, actually, we took all our presents over for him, which was great. I got to uh, got to see him again and, and catch up. So that was cool. Anyway, back to my painting, my odd looking pig. It's <laughs> oh my god, this is not a good stage, is it? Um, let's think. Let's make the brush a bit smaller. Let's think about just getting in a, a little bit of uh, detail. that maybe so bring this down more Kind of like that purple colour. Let's stick with that a bit.
go. About there. That's where his eyes gonna be. That feels about right. Just let these strokes follow the contour of the nose. Big eye thing in here. Darker color. Come in like this. Just changing my glasses. I've got my everyday glasses on, and uh, I'm to be, that's better now. I can see everything's in focus. I don't have to keep moving my head around. I've got the gaps way too long. His eyes should be about here, I think. There, right there. That means I've got way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Like maybe my picture's too wide, canvas is too wide. And also, I'm just holding the Alt key down to pick color off the canvas. I can bring this here. You know, see where I'm going wrong here. This sort of comes up like that. Maybe I should have done a drawing first. I sort of keep that the impression of um, straw. We're getting somewhere. There we go.
I'm swapping between the um, just add paint brush, the blend brush. So I'm going in the shadow. I think once you start getting shadows in, what looks like big flat areas all of a sudden take a lot of a lot of shape and form, uh, and they don't look flat and and oversized. Uh, they start to, to um, seem proportion proportionate for for what what they're supposed to be. I'm trying to come over to this color picker all the time to pick my colors up. Uh, it isn't. It is a nice. Seems to be a nice way. Now it's looking like a pig. <laughs> I think I think it's looking like a pig now. Um, so if that's the shape of his head, I'd probably come out a little, just a tad more. Bring that round here. on that blending brush and then um tidy it up a bit got the the feet to put in yet obviously it's right the way up here uh -huh. Just switch back to paint and add a few more strands of straw in. We're still in the ugly stage, obviously. Um, not any anything like where the finished painting is going to be yet, but uh, we are we are getting there, so that's cool. Let's add some lighter colours and add some shape and form. I think basically I I've, I should have made the old big um, Z bigger. That's where I went wrong. I wonder if I can resize this. Um, that. Yeah, like that lot. Oops. Just. There we go. That's better. There we go. It's, it makes a lot more sense. Now they can have a little look. Want um, a bit of white just here. Just mix that in. So I've got a lighter colour. I can just um, put what I wanted it for now. Oh yeah, the, the uh, few light strands of, of straw. I'm sort of doing what I always do, and that's work on the whole of a painting at once. 
I think I need to put some features in, like the eyes. I think that was going to help dramatically. Let's, so let's zoom in a bit. Oh, look, I can. Thought I was drawing on my source photo, but I can pick colours off there. That would be cheated, though, wouldn't it? I'm not going to do that. Um, just the colour, not. Um, Not the blend at the minute. I'm trying to get a stroke in with one belt brush mark like that. If I can. Oops. the eye I don't want lots and lots of um, strokes Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? And I think at this point, I'm going to whack the loading up, the oiliness down, so we get some really thick paint. And I can start to um, think about adding texture. And all the while I'm reminding myself what my initial objective was, was to paint this in thick, bold strokes. I can. I'm going to put um, some dark colour under here. A bit too dark. And then take some smaller strokes and whack them on the top. Hopefully, this is going to give me the impression of texture. it with a blend as well that might be quite nice why am i working on frigging thumbnail <laughs> I could be doing working on something this size. Go back to that paint again. Just want to uh, emphasize some of this. I quite like just the the paint strokes with no mixing, no 
limited blending it seems to be working better for me and I'm looking at the light on the pig or you know on the source photo thinking okay we've got some light here let's let's just whack that in a little bit of light there and we've got light this side much more so than um, over on the left so sort of got that nice pink tone bring that in a bit Just want to pick this color up and tiny strip. And also I keep um I'm hitting the square bracket to make me brush like a, a pixel bigger at a time. Oh, that's kind of got the effect I want. Except no, it's not. It won't do. That'll, that's better. I'm always using, I'm always touching the square brackets, always. Let's think about this nose of his snout, you know. Got a mop there. Mop there. Don't forget, you know, you can just keep refining things and think, okay, that's not right. I need to just adjust the outline of that. Uh, that's fine. If I can pick white up off the can. <coughs> Got these two little teeth. One. A little bit big that. There's his teeth munching away. I think we're getting there, aren't we? It's looking a little bit more like a pig now. Done in a very loose, almost abstract style, which I'm, you know, I love that. It's what it's I'm all about. quite got room to, to get the legs on the same for some reason I don't know what went off there it's 
okay and let's sort of just pop that out with the, with the straw a little bit oh, so like a little shadow underneath Um, let's just see if I can get that a bit smoother. There we are. Uh, onto the blend. I ha I have to say, um, I really I really am um, digging the. Uh, Color mixing. Uh, tool and the palette and everything. I didn't think I would yesterday. I was really uh, disappointed. And I thought, oh, I'm not feeling it. I, I don't know if I'm ever going to want to use these, these um, palettes. Uh, I'm, gonna, I, I'm much happier with the color wheel. And and it wasn't until I came away from the app, and I, I, I sat pondering, and I thought to myself, "Hang on a minute, I didn't switch on the um, color palette mixer, and I'm sure there's a reason uh, that the pigment mixer, and I'm sure there's a reason why they've not enabled that as default. You know, the default tool." Uh, I don't. I don't know what that reason would be, but I'm sure there is a reason. All the while, just just tweaking. Did that what that squiggly that looked sort of a little bit. Um, uh, every brush mark's got to look like you want it to be there. You put it there for a reason. Put down with confidence, I suppose. Not just sort of, oh, I've slipped, but, you know, it can stay. We've got a nice shadow down the side of the face here. I'm worried if I pick this, if I use this yellow, it's going to look like the straw. So I'm, I'm going to go for a, a pinky colour. Or, or maybe I'd put a bit of purple over the top of that. And it comes above his eye as well. Under his ear. Like that. Let's just bring this into here. Get nice bold, bold, purposeful strokes. That stroke there kind of lines up with that eyelid. So that's his eyelid stroke going in. So his eye didn't, I thought his eye looked a bit low. That's what that was all about. And we're nearly there. I'm just sort of putting in um, the odd stroke now just to finish it off a little bit. It's a bit dark. If I, I think, okay, I've made that too, too much. I can pick a few lighter strokes over the top. But it is important. It is important that every stroke you put is put down with confidence. Don't, don't kind of, don't, hang on. Let's see if I show you what I mean. Don't sort of do stuff where you, you slip in and, well, that's right, I suppose. Um, it's hard to explain. Where, where are you doing? stuff like this it looks a bit although not for this painting i want just boom stroke on done uh, 
Now that looks a bit, bit, bit limp. Let the oil limbs down and get some even more bigger strokes. What's it? What's the texture looking like? Look at that. You see, you you do get this beautiful texture. I'm thinking I'm going to put a big stroke in there like that lot and then just cover it with the uh, light strokes like that <sighs> Almost calligraphy at this point. Hmm. I like that, I don't want to mess about with that anymore. I want, this looks a bit messy here. I'm just gonna um, do this up a bit. There we go. Work on his snout a little bit. I just want a bit of sort of texture going off on there. Uh, his snouts, his nostrils are too low down, aren't they? They should be. This one's not too bad, but that one definitely needed to go up a bit, and then I've got a lot more leeway to So like I say, I did a, a portrait in Killy. Um, I might start it again, actually, just because um, I didn't use the proper pigment mixer. And I struggled all the way through the painting and I was using layers. Uh, I am going to do a quick experiment, actually. Now, if I turn the pigment off here, look, Oh, I was expect. You know what I was expecting? I was expecting it to change the colour on the pig, and it hasn't. So I could create another layer, switch the pigment off, and choose a blend mode like multiply. So I can and go in and add some shadows, and it's not affecting it. So I can still use the blend modes on a different layer 
even though I've used um, even though I've used the color picker but they that won't work I would imagine because I've, I've chose this now we're not going to uh, I've switched off the pigment mixer it's not going to mix those nice colors but you can go in look and add some nice shadows just to finish off the painting and oh, let's let's go with the um, blue let's just see oh poof. too much uh, i think at this point you would come over here and choose your color wheel so that you can have subtle 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 colors as a blend so I quite like that and I almost had a tint over the the painting of, of blue which uh, is quite nice I think I'll continue with that actually that theme bring that down there like that and paint over his complete eye So that's worth bearing in mind. You don't, you can still use your blending modes. Uh, if, when you create subsequent layers. So a little experiment done there. There we go. see what's happening all the colors below that blue that i put on still shine through nice and i can change the color and put pink on and i can add pink to the nose if i want to add a little bit of a tint to that and uh, a bit more tint there yeah bring that under there a bit so and also we can we can go in and tint tint the background as well we want i don't like that blue though let's just undo that probably go in with a warmer color yeah just to oops didn't want to go over the lip Warmer still, darker still. Bring that eye, eye, eye out a little bit. When I say eye, I mean, I meant ear. Not eye at all. There you go. And it's looking like a pig now isn't it Just a bit more on the snout and then i could create another layer on top of that again and go back to my pigment mode so i can uh, work with colors that can be mixed 
me just add some refining details if I want. I feel like um, we could just paint a few highlights around the nose there. There. And his nostrils. Bit of an highlight on that. There. And there. Right there. So just, you know, going over where I've added shadows, picking a little bit of detail out of those as well. Just adds a bit of depth into their nostrils, doesn't it? Don't want that there. Don't think it does. Just detracts from me, doesn't it? I think this is where all of the uh, colour should be, so that you you drawn to the face not anything else that's a little bit of um form shape oh, piggy just just need to um Oh, that, that needed a little bit of something. Yeah, there we go. I could keep working this, couldn't I? But I think that's finished. Let's get it signed. There we go. A little piggy painting using the colour mixer liking it a lot like i say yesterday i forgot to switch it on and i was having a lot of uh misery i suppose wondering why i was um i was ever going to use it again today i'm so glad um i started a fresh different subject and um i'm having a lot of fun with it i really like it so don't forget don't forget to switch the pigment on like I did yesterday. I mean, you didn't see the video, but I was struggling. I took, I did a, I don't know, five hour painting. I actually painted five hours, which is like incredible for me. I'm usually, you know, done in an hour like this one here. Uh, this is taking about 50 odd minutes. Um, and I painted for five hours without a break, totally in the zone. Uh, doing a portrait achille just to, i don't know why i totally forgot about the pigment thing and it um just uh, it, I, I enjoyed it i did enjoy it i don't get me wrong i i, I absolutely loved it though i wouldn't have been sticking at it for five hours but i struggled and struggled and struggled and it was like it was torn out of me and um Consequently, uh, I I was um, n not in the, not flowing the the, the painting. That's that's the chart, what I'm trying to say. The painting wasn't flowing because I was struggling with with the tools. I was struggling with the application and the technology. Where today I don't feel that that has been uh, an issue. I felt like I've just cracked on and had a, an absolute blast you see i'm just sort of adding a few little marks there just to finish it off i don't like those last two so i'm going to take them out that's it my little piggy painting i hope you have enjoyed this video 
if you have a, a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated i'm still fiddling uh, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them all with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye